Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to They Are Billions with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to an intro, which is being recorded after the outro, because sadly, I'm recording this straight after the last video, and I just completely forgot about the whole intro thing. So, we are currently doing the weapons factory in the past, and now, to that footage. Yeah, we're finishing this finally. Can't resist. Oh, that was beautiful. Perfect. This time, let's not walk back into the explosion. No fear. Come on, into the mines, lad. Come on. Do what I did last time. Thank you. And this will be the last one, this time without me being destroyed. One... Oh, just one. Excellent. Now, let's see what's lootable in here. So, it turns out that some of the tech will actually swap places between playthroughs. Because last time, in the toilet section here, or at least the showers, only the middle section here had research. This time around, both of these did. The middle didn't. Which means a lot of the areas I've ignored, because we didn't get tech last time, I'm going to have to research. Yeah. Okay, so here we are back to where we were originally. Let's go ahead and hopefully... Find some new stuff. Okay. Well, that is definitely stuff. Use a grenade or use the mines. I guess since we're already over here, use the mines. I haven't bothered to grab a lot of the grenades or med kits I did last time because I wanted to get here as fast as possible, and now I'm slightly regretting it. Boom. Lovely. Just this fellow left. Goodbye. So, yeah, mines. Gonna be using them quite a bit by the looks of things. Yeah, there's enough. So glad to do it. Yep, you just stand there, mate. Yes. Well done. Or just run at me one at a time and get destroyed. I mean, this is easier. Gonna tank a lot longer there. But if it works, it works. Oh, is this executive gonna get there? Nope. You? Nope. I'm just gonna sit here for a while. This is quite easy. So this is the command center. Didn't even read it, but yep, at least now I know what it is. It's an infected room, that's all we really need to know. An infected room with a med kit and something on the table over there. Ooh, hello. Bit too close. Okay. Okay, the artifact was in here. Lovely. Let's just grab all of this. So there's all the Empire points. Bit of research, Empire points again. Yeah, we are missing loads of research. And a little bit of Empire points, I think. Oh, yep, a little bit in the way of Empire points. So, where are those going to be? Didn't explore this room at all. This is one of the processing plants. Here's the other. I think I'll go this way because we should get some grenades over here, which I ignored on the way here. And we have none left, so that's pretty nice. Still, we can exit at any time now, and we're close to finishing, so if we get too hurt, we can always just leave. Let's go. And you are... More grenades, so now we have six grenades. Can't see any tech items here still, so where else would it be? We grab that, I missed the med kit because I couldn't be bothered to clear this. That's still not in use. There wasn't anything there before. I think there might be something over here. Just trying to think of... Oh, I know. Yeah, I think there's a room here. So, we cleared this just to be sure. Go over here. Go through. See if there is a room here. If not, I still want to clear this anyway. And hopefully we'll find the rest of the tech and the rest of the Empire points. Not sure. Managed to get a little bit of tech from this box here. So, thus proving once again that some things have been moved around. Which is interesting. And you, more tech, lovely, we're almost there, so I'm thinking the room here is going to be pretty much it, because I'm hoping so. Now, if I recall correctly, there's quite a few runners in here. Yep, there are. Yes. All right. For the Empire. Grabbed 30 more tech from the box over there, which definitely wasn't there last time, so hopefully... 
The last of the stuff we need is in there. The tactical missions do drag on a little bit, I've got to say. But of course, this is the second time doing this mission, so it could just be getting bored of the same mission. Well. Dramatic music, but only four enemies? I'm assuming there's going to be more. Nope. Any tech in here? Would be lovely if it had some. Let's go. The party has just begun. Please don't all be runners. They are, but apparently they don't really care about us. So that's good. Oh, I see. Yep, I see some tech. Lovely. Honestly, if we get hit here, it doesn't really matter too much. We're pretty much done, and there's a med kit, and we have two still in our bags. Only one. Of course. Oh, come on, game. Okay, so we're one tech drop off, and maybe one empire points off. Great. Wonderful. There's all the tech. Let's Just go. missing one of the empire points now. No. Great value, no doubt. More grenades. Fast. Not that I'm unhappy with this. Grenades make everything a lot more fun, but not what I'm after right now. So where am I missing? Went all there. I haven't explored over here this time, though I doubt there's anything there. I'm obviously missing something I've already explored. I think. Nothing on the tables over there. No, all of these I've moused over before. Where is the last of these points? Here's a question. What happens if you throw a grenade in one of these holes, the ones which keep on spawning the undead? Apparently it's a magical grenade that actually summons the infected. Come on. Yep, it was somewhere I'd already been before, this tiny little artifact here hiding behind the tree line. I'd only gone there when I was zoomed out. Okay, All so right. it's that, and then I'm fairly certain we're done. Nope, still 20 to go. I am amazed the last points are nothing to do with this. Or the alcohol. I mean, look at that, it's a proper planning section with a weird doodad and everything. Why isn't the weird doodad the last point? So I found 10 points in this little barrel here in the very corner. Must have managed to miss it with my mouse earlier, but I really can't find the last 10. I've checked all the obvious places now, so all the regular items which contain it. And I can't find anything on the floor. Well, at this point I have double checked every area I can go to. I've looked at every single of the regular containers, and it's definitely not in those. There's probably an item somewhere on the floor, just like the one over here, which is absolutely tiny. Which blends into the background, which I'm not seeing as something unique. I'm probably seeing it, but I'm seeing it as just part of the background and just not registering it's something we need to collect. So with that, although we are 10 off, I'm going to be leaving now because this is taking way too long at this point, And honestly, it's just becoming really, really tedious. If you've seen it, feel free to tell me in the comments. I'll be looking at the footage myself, but yeah, I can't see it at all. And again, I have checked all the normal stuff, and it's definitely not in there. Well, lost a bit of score, of course, because we had to do the retry after being exploded by a mine, but there we are. So it turns out in the previous video, I was incorrect about the tech. Once you enter a mission, the tech is then locked. You then lose those points. So you do need to be a little bit more careful. It's not about changing your loadout every single time. I do apologize. I am playing this essentially as soon as the game was released in version one, and I'm not looking at the videos like always, so I will be getting things wrong as we go, but we will be learning as well. So, we're going with this for the extra fisherman cottage food. We are going to finally learn the soldier, and we're going to have our hunter's cottage also give us more food, although I'm tempted to do this. We're also going with this so our rangers do plus 20% damage, so I think that is really, really useful. What's better, the mill giving us more energy, or the hunter's cottage giving us more food? This will make our starts easier. This will make the game 
just pad out a bit better, especially if we can get some fish to begin with. Then we have the farm. Okay, let's go with this. We're always going to want the mills. Okay, so the next mission we're going to do is the crossroads to get all the difficulty one sorted. Then we're going to do the infected swarm after that, probably in the next video. So, to the crossroads. Destroy all the villages of doom. Welcome to the crossroads. Slow zoom in, and let's go. Okay, so, by the looks of things, not much space over here. On the map, we can see the City of Doom, or the Doom Town. And apparently, there's a food crate over here. Okay. Okay, let's do this. So, there isn't a time limit, and there's no invasions about to attack us, which means... We should really, really focus on getting soldiers as fast as possible, just to defend this area, and then just keep on making more and more soldiers. Oh, more orders. Mr. Okay, we found stone. You are gonna pay me Zombies that. pretty much everywhere, the infected. And yeah, I doubt there's anything going to attack us from over here. So you, go and help out there. We want stone as soon as possible. Oh my god, that's a lot of infected. Yep, so we are just completely surrounded. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Okay. What I should really do is this when I'm attacking. Rather than constantly doing this all the time, just using the whole stop key would be way easier. Oh. Okay. Lovely. And now we need some food, thankfully. Actually, no, we don't have the bonus to the Hunter's Cottage. I was going to get that, but I didn't, and now I feel very silly since there's no bodies of water here. Yes, tell me. But at least the mill has bonus energy. Here's a question. Is the soldier the first unit which requires iron? Because if it is, we might have a bit of a problem. So far, I haven't seen any iron on the map, and I really, really want to test out the soldiers. That's the main thing I want to do during this level. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we found some iron. Maybe I should look before I talk. Our first sawmill's going down, and I'm trying to rush towards getting some stone. I really want more units. Yep, you can start clearing out there, you can start clearing out here, and I don't think I have any blind spots at the moment. Fantastic. So many infected. Well, managed to lose one of our rangers, because sadly, there were two runners right there, and I didn't notice until it was way too late. Okay, let's just see what's down here. Nothing. Okay, that is really suspicious, so definitely need to put a new ranger there as soon as possible. Speaking of which, let's get that stone up and running as soon as we can. Feel a bit exposed right now. These two are still clearing, and we have only one ranger here, so what I think I'm going to do is put you on a patrol. First quarry is now being built, and there are lots and lots of runners over here. Yes. Yeah, this is way easier. This is definitely how I should attack normally. Attention. And goodbye. Great. Okay, for now, just defend that. Now I remember why I'm not a huge fan of soldiers. Not only do they take iron, but they also take food, whereas rangers don't. Which means it is a little bit limiting on just how many you can really have. We still want to use a lot of them, and then I'm going to send them out to make them veterans. That's why I'm not clearing right now. I want all this experience for the soldiers. But still, that is a little bit annoying. And now we need to start moving towards the iron reserves. I knew there would be infected spawning from this direction. I just saw two of them. Yep, there they are. At least one of them. Don't know where the other one's gone. Attention. Good job we have the ranger there. Speaking of which, Rangers! Our first farm is being created, as is our first soldier. Lovely. Now, when it comes to attacking this town, how are we going to do this? What I'm thinking is we could build a little barricade here and sort of lure them back. Have all the soldiers in waiting, and then use the Rangers to bring them to us. That way we don't have to deal with everything all at once, and we have the advantage of being behind a barricade. Maybe. Oh yeah, that is so much stronger than the Ranger. But they are far slower. Oop. And take wireless damage. 
Yeah, that armor is really nice. Five percent versus forty percent. Come on, attention. Building complete. All right. Let's not get this thing killed, though, eh? Oh dear. I'm just getting more and more after us. Well, that's not great. Mortar, you pay. Come on. Me to the well, at least I'm getting a bit of scouting done. May as well bring them all with us now. Commander, waiting on orders. They also attack faster than the Rangers, which is nice. Less load time. I need to get better at this, I really do. Ah, just tank him. You'll be fine. All right. Just guide me to the infected. This better be good. Okay, Rangers, get back, please. I want the soldiers to get all the experience. Just put them on chase mode now, so they're doing this all by themselves. Well, I was hoping they'd stick together. Nope, instantly splitting up. Nope, never mind. Back to manual control. I don't trust you. Lovely. Understood. Of course, my commander. Perfect. Let's go. Okay, definitely like soldiers more than I used to. For the most part, you can just leave these fellows alone. Our first veteran, okay, let's see the difference then. So instantly, they attack even faster. They are longer range, and they do 10 extra damage. That's lovely. Oh yeah. Two shotting now, that is really good. Definitely want more veterans. Okay, veteran you go back though, because what I want is all the other soldiers to get all the experience. So it turns out, this is actually the second Village of Doom. Knocked out one building so far, and uh, I'm assuming there's more. Go soldiers, though. How is that tree actually acting as line of sight? Look at all those veterans. So with experience, it definitely is who gets the last shot, right? Yeah, that's why the experience is all over the place with these soldiers, okay. Is that gold? Yeah, I think that's gold. Right, the game does have potential for gold mines, right? I actually can't remember, so because of that, let's build towards it and see if we can get some more money out of that. I also think we're basically ready to take out the main Doom Village. So I'm assuming they'll just keep on spawning endlessly. On the upside, unlimited experience! Yep, I'm just going to farm experience for a while. Commander? That will be easy. Oh, major attack coming from over here. Yeah. Everyone get your butts over there, please. You guys are fine to stay in there, right? Good. Let's kite them away from the village. As long as you pay Lovely. Is everything okay? You are gonna pay me for this. And now let's move them into the soldiers. Oh, here we go again. Yes. Okay, so soldiers, you are now officially posted here. Rangers go over here. And let's send one ranger over here, just in case, though I doubt it with the train coming through. Meanwhile...
That is really satisfying to watch. Very loud, though. One of the houses has been destroyed. Lovely. Good to know the terrain doesn't cause line of sight issues. The fact we didn't just win is somewhat worrying. Where am I missing a building? Oh, population 400. I completely forgot about that, honestly. Okay, so let's just put down houses everywhere, shall we? Yep, this is indeed gold. Well, there we are. We're now finished with the crossroads, giving us some more tech and some more empire points. Oh, one more of these lovely infections. Well, with that, thank you so much for watching. I'm getting very tired now, and although it's been a lot of fun, I think it's time for me to go and get some rest. In the next video, we will be dealing with at least one of these infected swarms, and we might do the Alpha Communications over here, which is one of the tactical missions, giving us more research and more Empire points. So, from what I understand, the Empire points is used during these infected swarms, essentially buying us units. So, we're going to see just how good that is very soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that they are billions as a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye.